Something has appeared in the earliest corners of the universe, something so strange with so many people and so much luminosity that it shook the very fundamentals of cosmology. When the James Webb Space Telescope turned its gaze toward the edge of time, it caught something we had never seen before. Countless red dots, glowing like embers in the distance, dotted a cosmic canvas. However, these were not stars. They weren't galaxies as we knew them. In fact, their very existence seemed impossible, defying the rules of structure, light, gravity, and time. For over two years, these little red dots baffled astronomers, suggesting that the physical laws as we know them may not always have applied. As of right now, new observations are emerging and a startling new truth is surfacing. What if, in the beginning of the universe, a different set of rules applied? What if reality was something else entirely in its infancy? It started with what appeared to be a glitch. In late 2022, the James Webb Space Telescope began delivering images filled with tiny, hazy red points yet absurdly bright. They weren't galaxies moving away from us with a redshift. These things were red due to thick clouds of cosmic dust swallowing every other wavelength of light. They weren't uncommon. These tiny red spots appeared in nearly every deep image Webb took. But when astronomers calculated their distances, what they discovered was even more disheartening. These baffling objects existed approximately 600 million years ago following the Big Bang and vanished after only a billion years. That window is cosmically small. However, in that brief era, these dots erupted into being across the entire universe before vanishing completely. What were they? Why were they so bright? And most of all, how could something so small contain the power of a galaxy? At first, scientists assumed these red dots were simply small galaxies, dense early versions of systems like our Milky Way. But the numbers didn't add up. The light they emitted was too intense. The inferred mass was too high. Their size, just 1% the width of our galaxy, yet with star counts rivaling the largest structures ever built, should have torn them apart. Stars colliding with stars, breaking apart into black holes with energy that should have been fatal to their own existence. This was a paradox. The physical limitations of the universe said these galaxies could not exist not like this, not so soon. But Webb wasn't lying. These dots were real. Theories faltered. Some astronomers wondered if they were seeing effects of dark matter or interactions among basic particles. Others whispered of exotic new forces, hidden dimensions, or relics from a pre-Big Bang universe. If these structures were made of stars, then something was. Incredibly incorrect in our understanding of matter, mass, and time itself. Then came the most radical theory of all. These weren't galaxies. They were monsters supermassive black holes born absurdly fast, growing impossibly large, and buried beneath gas and dust clouds. The dots were not glowing stars, they were blazing because of accretion disks, massive spheres of matter descending into enormous black holes that warped space itself. This would explain their compact size and their awe-inspiring brightness, but it raised a new difficulty. How did these black holes form so quickly? In the present-day universe, central black holes make up a tiny fraction of a galaxy's mass. But in these ancient red dots, the black holes accounted for nearly all the mass. This flips every rule of galactic evolution. Instead of black holes growing within galaxies, possibly galaxies were forming around black holes. This would imply black holes appeared first. And in that case, it may indicate the universe's early days did not just change. They exploded into complexities brought about by gravitational monsters unlike anything we see today. Still, there was skepticism. Without definitive evidence, scientists required more than speculation. Then they found it, hidden in the hydrogen. When astronomers analyzed the emission lines of these little red dots, they noticed something strange. The signals from hydrogen, the bomb lines, were thick far thicker than expected. This is a smoking gun. In astronomy, thicker emission lines mean motion violent, high-speed rotation, a Doppler effect on a galactic scale. 
The only way gas could move that quickly was if it were circling something with immense gravity. And in every case, that something pointed to a black hole a huge one. In fact, the gas was moving ten times faster than it does around the central black hole of our own galaxy. No star cluster could explain that. No baby galaxy could fake that kind of velocity. This was the final verification. These weren't star factories. They were black hole engines devouring matter in the shadows of the early universe, doing so in ways that defied every known model of cosmic growth. Astrophysics's rules had been shattered, not by theory but by observation. A further, even more ominous realization began to emerge. What if these red dots weren't unique to the early universe? What if these black holes never completely vanished but simply went dark? One reason these ancient structures puzzled astronomers for so long was that they didn't emit X-rays, the signature byproduct of black hole activity. That alone cast doubt on the black hole hypothesis until a connection was made between the dots. The answer was not in what they emitted, but in what they couldn't. X-rays were being trapped, absorbed, and scattered. By the time these things are covered in thick gas, the radiation never escapes. Smothered, it speaks in a mute voice. Additionally, silence has obscured an entire era of cosmic evolution, a hidden period in which black holes developed undetected, supplied by vast reservoirs of matter, slowly constructing the monstrous centers of galaxies. James Webb revealed not only anomalies, but also a gap chapter in the universe's story, a time when light was used up more quickly than it could move and where the strongest objects in existence were cloaked in invisibility in space. Additionally, this time period may not be finished because the procedure occurred once and it may continue to occur. Now, in galaxies so far away and dusty, simply put, we haven't noticed. We are forced to inquire after this revelation of frightening query, have we looked around at the wrong things all along? For decades, astronomers have constructed models of star birth, galaxy formation, and the expansion of the universe using visible light and reliable data. However, James Webb is revealing something much more complicated, an early universe dominated by chaotic growth that is hidden from view but driven by strong forces of gravitation. These are more than just a few tiny red dots of curiosity. They serve as a model for traumatic beginnings, a time when galaxies were ripped apart, not built with care, shaped by forces that moved quickly, were writing rules to get ahead. It hints that many of our most fundamental beliefs regarding when and how galaxies and stars first formed, assembled, and how long black holes take to grow may be off by billions of years. The internet has provided access to a realm of brutal acceleration in areas where physics played according to different rules or maybe no rules at all. And if so, what else may be concealed beyond that window, waiting to test not only our theories but the very underlying principles of what we believe space and time even are. And then they were gone. Every single one of these red dots, hundreds, if not thousands, across the sky disappeared from the cosmic record just 1.6 billion years following the Big Bang. Not slowly, not over time they vanished, transformed into something else. But into what? The most probable choices are quasars, brilliant cores of galaxies powered by black holes. However, even that transition is abrupt, like skipping chapters in a book. There was a trigger for these tiny things to burn through their dusty cocoons, revealing and reshaping their luminous cores and galaxies. Perhaps star formation was pushed outward, thinning the gas. Possibly, violent mergers deconstructed the structure. Or perhaps the objects simply wore out their fuel, collapsing into quieter, colder forms. Whatever happened, it left no survivors. Nothing comes close to these red dots right now not in any nearby galaxies, not in any contemporary system of black holes. They come from an era that has passed away, where physics and unchecked growth coexisted and were forced to obey something deeper than gravity, something fundamental that we may never see again. Despite this, there are whispers. In a completely unrelated survey, researchers cataloging strange compact galaxies stumbled upon an oddly resembling object, green peas. 
Unlike the red dots, these objects exist in the more recent universe. However, they share some frightening similarities, intense, high-density emissions, and a brief presence. Though they differ in color and epoch, some astronomers now think they might be the evolutionary cousins of those early monsters, maybe fragments, maybe echoes, perhaps just reflections of the same thing happening again in a different era. But the key point remains, if tiny red dots were possible then, and if green peas exist now, how many other phases of cosmic evolution have we entirely missed? How many total species of galactic structures have come and gone, not seen, not recorded, and misunderstood? Webb does more than just capture distant light. It is illuminating the gloom, the remnants of previously unknown realities taken into account. Moreover, the more we stare into those shadows, the more it becomes clear. Physics is not flawed, it is larger beyond our wildest dreams. And the early universe was its wild frontier. It was never intended for the small red dots to be alive. They were never in the equations, never in the models. They were not included in the beautiful diagrams taught through textbooks or the timelines of cosmic history in order. And yet, they are real and ingrained in the universe's initial billion years, like scars in spacetime. What James Webb revealed is more than just a new chapter in astronomy. It's a cautionary tale that the universe is more chaotic, more violent, and more enigmatic than we ever dared to imagine. These black hole-powered anomalies destroyed our understanding of how galaxies grow, how matter behaves, and how light travels through the fog of creation. For decades, we believed the laws of physics were universal, fixed, immutable. But now we must ask the impossible, what if those rules were made in the midst of chaos, not in tranquility? What if the universe did not evolve according to rules, but rather by rebellion? The James Webb Space Telescope has shown us more than just the world. It demonstrates how little we truly comprehend our heritage and how much of reality is concealed, awaiting detection in wavelengths we've only just begun to decode. The little red dots are gone now, but their legacy lives on not as a problem, but as a surprise, a look through a keyhole into a universe that will not be controlled, located in light, where lies physics.